Chelsea Clinton attacks President Trump, immediately pays for her bad decision. Former first daughter Chelsea Clinton launched an attack against President Donald Trump and his supporters. However, she has a severe lack of awareness when it comes to the activities of her own family. British news website The Guardian reporter Decca Aitken had interviewed the youngest Clinton on a variety of topics, but when she started to talk about the current president, it became apparent that Chelsea has still not gotten over the fact that President Trump defeated her mother, Hillary Clinton, to become the 45th American president. Aitken had asked if we're now living through the best of feminist times, thanks to hashtag me too, or the worst, thanks to Donald Trump. Clinton responded in a way that hit on the nonsense talking point that Republicans are somehow attacking the reproductive rights of women by protecting the right of babies to live. I think progress is possible, and I think we should always feel a responsibility to that mandate in some ways, but that it's not inevitable, and that it has to be both protected and advanced at every moment, she said, before adding that the restrictions on a woman's reproductive agency, and also on her ability to access reproductive health services that she thinks are right for her and often for her family, that right is certainly not secure in our country. She said she believed feminists should not respond with negativity when they are confronted by those who don't think the same way, as she managed to paint herself as a victim of conservatives. For me, maybe because I've had so much vitriol flung at me for as long as I can literally remember, people saying awful things to me even as a child, I've never found it productive, personally, to engage in that way. To retaliate with crass language or insult someone personally, I just don't think I'm built that way, she said. I know they're talking about me. I just think that the way they're talking about me, to me, to my face, online, is a reflection on them and not about me. The savagery that is directed at me, sometimes it's because I'm just the person that they happen to see and recognize, and they're angry, and so that anger kind of spills out. Sometimes they're mad at me because of something that my mom or dad did, or something that my mom or dad never did, but they have been fed the narrative that they were trafficking children, or drugs, or some other heinous crime, she said. Then, Clinton used her platform to make a beeline for President Trump, blaming him for the attacks that she and others have received online. I've come to feel differently, she said. Because I think that the way that our president and many people around him have not only mainstreamed hate, but mainlined it, is so deeply dangerous. Not just the hundreds but now thousands of instances in schools across America, where children are citing the president as their demeaning a little girl, or they're chanting build a wall in an attempt to demean and degrade brown children. So the reason, now, I no longer ignore it when people say hateful things to me on the street or on social media is, I think we have to shine a light. I think those of us who have platforms to do that have to say this is wrong and unacceptable, so we don't normalize it but try to detoxify what has been unleashed. Because if we don't, we leave a vacuum. And I think the darkness fills that vacuum. Chelsea Clinton advised British citizens to protest her own president when he visits them, as she spoke about taking her own children to anti-Trump protests. She said, I've been to multiple protests since the election. Charlotte's been to at least three, maybe four. Iden's been to one. If I lived in Britain I would show up to protest, because I don't agree with what he's doing to degrade what it means to be an American. And that is where her argument backfired on her. What it means to be an American. Does being an American mean having a sexual relationship with an impressionable young girl in the Oval Office as your wife is nearby and then lying to the American people about it? Or does she think being an American means to ignore a subpoena and delete 33,000 emails, bleach bit computers, and smash devices with hammers to be certain that the evidence cannot be recovered? Another possibility is that she thinks it is American to sell America's uranium to a foreign adversary, an adversary you later claim colluded with your opponent to defeat you in a presidential election. Or it could be that she thinks being an American means selling access to the president, be it former President Bill Clinton or former President Barack Obama, or selling access to the Secretary of State to the highest bidder. There are not many reasonable people who believe that Chelsea Clinton is not planning a career in politics in the future. But she would be wise, before she speaks, to think about what her parents have done before she comments on the actions of others.